Hello everybody, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to episode 590 of Logo History. We're down to the final episodes of season 6, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting close, my friends. Soon we will begin season 7. I just can't wait to see what we can do with episode 7 right, right on the corner. So, I hope you are ready for it. If you're ready for this episode, good, because we got a broadcast television company that focuses on television stations all across America. So, are you all ready for it? Then let's begin. For episode 590, it's about great television. So, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next in into our world, and we're going to get into it today. For those who haven't seen episode 590, our previous episode we did is one of great television's stations, WPCH TV. In Atlanta, Georgia. Go check it out right now. Link to the videos up there at the top right corner of your screen. Please click the info card for below. Watch anytime you want, whenever you want. Now, any further delay, let's begin. But first, images are taken from the PA. Go to the A1. The images are, that you're about to see do not belong to me. Those are everybody else. So, remember that guy? Good. Now, here's the short bio for those who don't know what Great Television is. Great Television Incorporated is an American publicly traded television broadcasting company based in Atlanta, Georgia. Founded in 1946 by James Harrison Gray as Great Communication Systems. The company owns or operates 180 market stations across the United States in 113 markets. Its, stations, sta its, its station base consists of all ranges of media markets, from as large as Atlanta to one of the smallest markets, North Platte, Nebraska. Okay, so this should be pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the test. Company name is Great Television. Industry is Broadcast Television. Launch date, or should I say founded? Yeah, not launch date, founded in 1946. Founder is James Gray, headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. You have to have a look at website www.gray.tv. The link is in the description down below. Please check it out. Now, wait for the delay. Let's jump right into the logo history of Gray Television. 1946 to 1960, the company was founded as the Harold Publishing Company, but unfortunately, I couldn't find the logo at the time. So, sorry, people. 1960 to 1970-something, they changed their name to Great Communication Systems. So, here are the words Great Communication Systems and Ink, all in black text. I'll write them. I'll write them. There are two shapes representing arrows, one starting on the top and left. Going down to the bottom left, and and one starting on the, on the bottom right, starting going up to the top right. Yeah, all of these arrows there are the letters G C N S in white uh, in black text, and the whole logo is on a white background. So yeah, that's pretty much it. 1977 to something, I couldn't find a logo at the side. 1980 something to 1990 something, again no logo. Sorry people. 1970 to 2002, there's were gray and gray text under it. Then there was communication systems and ink in in red text, and that's it. Here's the print version. And then the white version. 2002 to 2013, there's a blue rounded oval shape on a silver uh, on a gray outline. Inside there was there's were gray and white in silver text on a uh, on a black outline. Under it there were television and ink and white text. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you they changed their name to Gray Television. Yes, so sorry about people. So again, they changed their name to Gray Television. So remember that. And finally, 2013 to the present, there are lots of green. From the, there are lots of lots of shapes. One, hit one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven shapes. Yeah, yeah, seven blue shapes, two yellow shapes, and two red shapes. All form the letter G. Under on all these shapes, there's were gray in red text. Under it, there were television, digital, and mobile in black text. Between each word, there are two black dots, and that's it. Here's the print version, the, the horizontal version, and the print version of the horizontal version. That's it. Thanks for watching this episode of Logo History. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for. More great content, including the next episode of Movie History, Tree Wars Animation, coming real soon, where it's going to be about how to train Dragon in the Hidden World. Also, be on the lookout for local reviews, as it's, it's going to be about PBS Kids, so stay tuned for that. And we got a new episode of, of San Real Supremacy going soon. Umea Zakaten is in, is in action against Risuru. So be on the lookout for that as well. For the rest of the schedule, please check out some other movies on the For all thanks for watching. I'm Gus and you'll be yourself. I'll see you next time on Logo History. Come back and see me next time for episode 591, where it's going to be about Sky Showtime. So don't miss it, guys. We're heading to the international territories of Europe as we take a look at Sky Showtime next time on Logo History. So please leave a like, share with your friends, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the notification drawn as we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Thanks again for watching. I'm Gus and Sanchez. off for Logo History. Have a great day. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters! <laughs>